In this video, we will solve a question that was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of EconMaths. The question is, consider the following functions. S is equal to minus 120 plus 0.2 Y. S denotes the savings and Y is the income. And M is equal to, you know, 0.15 Y. M denotes the importers and Y is obviously income, okay? Where S is the aggregate savings, M is imports, Y is national product. If private gross domestic investment increases by 250 units and government spending decreases by 75 units, by what tune the national income will increase? The options are 500, 525, 515 or 475. We need to find out the correct option. Okay. So exactly what we are being given, we are being told that savings is a function of income. So S is equal to minus 120. That means autonomous savings when the level of income is zero. Okay. Plus 0.2 Y. And 0.2 denotes the marginal propensity to save. Okay. How much we save when uh, income increases by Y one unit. Okay. Also, we have imports is a function of income. That is 0.15 Y. That means uh, this 0.15 denotes the marginal propensity to import. Okay. How much our imports increase when there is one unit increase in our income. Also, we are being told that and the private gross domestic investment increases by 250 units. Okay, that means change in investment is equal to 250 units. Okay, that is positive change. Also, we are being told government spending decreases by 75 units. That means change in government spending is equal to, since it is decreasing, so this is negative 75. We need to find out the change in change in national income okay how do we find uh, find this thing okay first we need to construct the national income identity that is y that is our total uh, output should be equal to consumption expenditure plus investment expenditure plus government spending or government expenditure plus exports minus imports okay so we have here four sector model uh, let us see what variables are not here okay so first we need to find out this consumption function consumption function is not being given but we also know the identity there our total income is actually uh, consumed and the part which is not consumed is equal to uh, is being saved okay so our total income is equal to consumption plus savings okay we know this identity now let's solve it for uh, consumption that means c will be equal to y minus s that means we want to find out the consumption function that implies c is equal to y minus savings function is being given us okay so what is savings function minus 120 so we have minus 120 uh, plus 0 0.2 y okay solving again so c is equal to y minus into minus is plus 120 okay then we have minus 0 0.2 y Is it minus 120? Sorry uh, for the mistake. The savings function is actually 250. Okay. So our savings function is 250. Let me be very clear here. So here we will have 250. Okay. So here we have 250. Uh, 250. Here we have 250. 250. Okay. So our savings will be equal to when we subtract 0.2 y from y we will get let's write first 250 that is autonomous consumption when level of income is 0 plus uh, y minus 0.2 y comes out to be 0 0.8 y this is our consumption function okay so let me also write it here minus 250 is actually our autonomous savings so we got the consumption function that means we can write the national income identity in this function that is 
y is equal to consumption function is uh, 250 uh, plus 0.8 y plus investment plus government spending plus exports minus imports is being given as is uh, you know 0.15 y <clears throat> so y will be equal to 250 okay then we have uh, plus 0.8 y plus i plus g plus uh, exporters minus 0.15 y okay let us solve it for y we have 0 0.8 and 0 0.15 okay so we can write it in this fashion y minus 0 0.8 y plus 0 0.15 y okay i am just transposing these like terms to lhs okay so plus 0.8 y becomes minus 0.8 y and minus uh, you know 0.15 y becomes plus so this is why y minus 0.8 y it comes out to be 0.2 y plus 0.15 y okay when adding so 0.2 plus 0.15 it comes out to be 0.35 y okay so this adds up to 0.35 y is equal to 250 uh, plus i plus g plus x okay now let me rub this out <clears throat> Mm. now point three five can be written as it is point three five and let's uh, write it here it can be written as 35 divided by 100 you know simple 35 divided by 100 okay if i transpose it it will get multiplied to each of these terms but reciprocated okay divided and uh, you know reciprocated simple thing that means our y will be equal to 250 into 100 divided by 35 uh, plus we have i or uh, let me write it here first uh, 100 divided by 35 i plus 100 divided by 35 g plus 100 divided by 35 you know x so let us solve this out now let's take the differential on both sides okay with respect to variables now differential of y will be equal to del y okay so differential of a constant is zero differential of i and let me write it here we have 100 plus 35 differential of i is del i okay plus we have 100 divided by 35 and differential of g will be equal to del g and differential of exporters x will be here uh, and let's uh, write it here uh, plus 100 divided by 35 its differential will be equal to del x okay now del y means change in income will be equal to we have 100 divided by 35 now what is change in investment we are being told it is positive change that is uh, 250 here we are being told change in government spending is minus 75 so del g is minus 75 okay so we can write uh, it in this fashion so here we have and let me first write it 100 divided by 35 change in government spending is minus 75 plus change in uh, you know exports is zero there is no change so we can write it here zero <clears throat> let us solve it again so we have change in income national income will be equal to so two five triple zero okay we have two five triple zero divided by 35 plus minus is minus we have seven five double zero seven five double zero divided by 35 which implies uh, since denominator is same we can subtract the numerator so two five triple zero minus seven five double zero 
okay it will come out to be let me see two five triple zero one seven sorry for this mistake to not 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 that is zero zero dhani pons to pons uh kya go to run a sat so dhani sat sat okay so this comes out to be one seven five double zero divided by thirty five okay and let us uh, you know x and solve it i am really you know very lazy in calculating this stuff here so this comes out to be five seven are thirty five okay here we have five three are fifteen sixteen seventeen so five five are twenty five then we have two zeros five zeros are so we got three five double zero divided by seven again let us say if it is divisible by seven yes 35 is divisible by seven so we can write seven ones are seven fives are that means we got five zero zero that means change in income change in national income will be equal to five hundred the correct option should be a option i hope you like this video thank you